A lot of people don't see stingrays as cute and cuddly, but right here in French Polynesia, it's actually a completely different story. I'm in shallow waters just off the island of Morea. Stingrays and reef sharks are all over the place. You might usually prefer to avoid these animals, but here it's encouraged, and for the most part, everyone is having a great time, except for this girl. You might think that they remove their barbs, but uh, it's not true. These stingrays are actually really comfortable with humans, so they don't feel threatened at all. So they just don't need to use them. It's important not to look at interactions like this and assume all stingrays will behave the same way. Some stingrays are inquisitive, while others are more shy. One thing you don't want to do is encroach on the space of a stingray that may see you as a threat. If a stingray can't remain camouflaged or swim away from a predator like, say, a tiger shark, its other option, and this is purely a defensive option, is to use its stinger. Now, this is a very small one. Uh, they can vary in size depending on the size of the ray. And a lot of people do get stung every single year, usually around the ankle or feet area. And the best way to avoid getting stung, if you're walking in shallow water and you think there might be stingrays, is just to shuffle your feet in the sand and any stingrays in that area should get out of your way. And if you're snorkeling or if you're scuba diving and you see large rays, make sure you don't approach them unless they are the type that are familiar with human interaction. A positive encounter with rays and sharks is right up there with some of the most exciting wildlife experiences you can have. Just remember, they're still wild animals and they need to be respected. So what do you think? Would you swim with the stingrays and sharks or is it not your cup of tea? Let me know in the comments below.